hey you, are you tired of looking like shit? Been caught wearing the same pair of pants three days in a row by your mom? Do you wish you were as aesthetically pleasing as your Animal Crossing avatar? Well look no further because we have the product for you. As the president of the Sakai Nehime Corporation, I'd like to present to you today our latest product, the Basic Bitch Beret, also known as BBB. This product comes in the following colors. Seductive Strawberry, Mellow Mushroom, and orange and glad Linda spent two hours filming this intro instead of actually providing meaningful content on YouTube. Just call the number below to get your very own BBB, Basic Bitch Beret. Limited supplies available. Offer not valid in Ohio because honestly, fuck that place. Who wants to live in America's shirt pocket? Hi everyone, my name is Linda, but you can also call me Sakanahime, and today we'll be making these very cute Animal Crossing inspired berets. Like many of you clicking on this video, I am obsessed with Animal Crossing. My favorite part about the game, for me at least, is the fact that you have so many different outfit combinations that you can make. You want to be that strawberry shortcake bitch, you be that strawberry shortcake bitch. You want a goth girlfriend, you make yourself a goth girlfriend. Post-production Linda will be the one mostly speaking today, so let's get started. Hello, hello, it's your favorite voiceover YouTuber here. Let's talk materials. You'll need half a yard of felt fabric, wool roving, a felting pad, felting needles, measuring tape, scissors, and a compass to draw a circle with. I didn't have one, so I used the next best thing, my unused grad ceremony tassel, 2020 am I right, ladies? So now let's talk math. For this next part, we'll be cutting out two circles. The diameter for both of them should be about 12 inches, so if we divide this in half, we'll get six inches for the radius. Next, you'll wanna measure the top of your head as this will be the circumference for the inner circle of one of the circles you just cut out. And if you're like me and you have some big brain energy, this is where you'll be shoving your melon of a head into. Now, take this number, divide it by pi, so 3.14 for you mathematically challenged folks, and divide that number in half to get a radius that's around 3.524 inches. Cut out these circles and let's start sewing. Oh my god, I'm, so, I'm gonna edit that out. Hi, this is my little baby. She is the Kenmore Mini Ultra Sewing Machine. Um, we've had her for a couple years in my family now, and honestly, this is my second day sewing. My mom taught me how to do it last night, so let's see how this goes. If we ignore my shitty ass sewing job, this turned out pretty well, I wanna say. And the next step for us to do is to cut little slits around the entire hat just so it can become like a nicer, fuller circle. Now what we'll wanna do is kind of smooth out the hat. So I'm just running my fingers along the seam right here. As I tried on my newly sewn beret, I imagined that I look like a beautiful French woman, but no, in reality, I look like Lord Farquaad's long lost Asian cousin, which I can't tell if it's an insult or a compliment right now. Cause honestly, was he hot? Was he not hot? You be the judge. Now moving on to needle felting. You'll need a felting pad, felting needles, and some wool roving. First, grab some green wool roving and tightly roll it. Once you stab it a thousand times with your felting needle, it should resemble a strawberry stem. Make sure that you actually have felting needles because they have these little ridges on them that allow the fibers to interlock together rather than traditional needles, which are smooth. Now put your beret over the felting pad and poke around the stem until it's fully incorporated into the fabric. Repeat the same steps to make the leaves of the strawberry. Now that we have a beret that looks like Bob the judgy ass tomato from VeggieTales, it's time to add some strawberry seeds. Roll your wool into dime sized pieces and stab away. I hope this is therapeutic for all of you to watch because honestly this was a bitch to do. The only reason why this is cathartic to me in any way was because I kept imagining I was stabbing the hearts of all the awful tinder boys I met during my hoe days. And that's on managing your anger in an unhealthy way, folks. Through repressing your emotions and taking it out on inanimate objects. We're gonna give my dog this little hat now. Okay. Ooh! <laughs> Mademoiselle, oh la la! You look so fancy! I made a report for animal abuse on YouTube, I know it. You look so cute though! <laughs> okay. Okay, no more. <laughs> Next, let's line the inside of our hats. Follow the same beret pattern as before, but this time we'll be tucking our actual beret into the lining with the right sides facing together. 
sew these pieces together, but leave a little baby hole at the end. Once you've done that, let's pull the fabric through this hole and finish it off by using a blanket stitch. And if you're like me and you can't sew for shit, YouTube has all that you need. In total, I made about three different variations, a strawberry beret, a mushroom one, and a cute little orange hat. And would this be a true Animal Crossing themed video without some outfits to go with our hats? Come on. Tell me in the comment section below which was your favorite hat, and thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye bye!